Hey everybody, it's your crazy man girl Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are watching the seventh episode of Bad Batch Battle Scars. Uh, I'm very excited for this because obviously we were left not on a, well, actually it was a bit of a cliffhanger with obviously the two sisters, Trace, Trace or something. I think Trace and what's her name? Raph. Uh, the two sisters that we met in the Clone Wars, we we ran into them in the last episode and they have a contact. Now everybody has been <laughs> making up theories about who this could be, but I'm guessing we will not see them for a while. Now, with the Bad Batch, there are some interesting things happening. Obviously, my theory was correct about Record that he was going to hit his head again and that Order 66 would click on. It's set... It, it semi did, but I think we're going to deal with the proper aftermath of it in this episode. And I'm so excited, especially because this is Battle Scars. And the small description that we have of this episode is as they traversed, excuse me, as they traverse a decommissioned medical facility, the Bad Batch encounter an unexpected threat. So either it's going to be Wrecker or it's going to be something connected to that, or it might even be um, Crosshair coming after them maybe i'm not sure because we haven't seen him for a while i'm guessing there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes but um yeah i'm super excited for this episode so let's just jump straight into it before that please remember to like subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more movies tv shows and video games so without further ado let's jump straight into this what are you two up to well, the nation's over can we go again it's mm -hmm. the tradition. What are they up to? Gonna have a bit of fun. Ooh. Is that Rex? Wait. Hold the fucking phone. Hold. Ooh. Wait. Where? Wait. Was that the contact then? Sorry, I'm holding my light because my light is being held up near my computer. So that's why I was like, I need to hold it while I go back. Oh, come on. It looks like a fucking clone. Is that Rex? <gasps> it's Rex. What's going on in here? That arm. Is it Rex? <gasps> yeah! It's Rex. Oh my god. Sorry. I'm so excited. And also I'm running on three hours of sleep because of last night. Um, well, not three hours, sorry. I'm still tired and my brain is befuddled. So to see Rex is so good. Oh my God. Oh. He looks so beautiful. That's a long story. Oh, my baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, how'd you track us down? Trace and Rafa Martez. Mm. So he was the contact. So that's why I was thinking, like, it, I, like I thought, like maybe not, because I was like, it, it's too good to be true. But at the same time, you know, it won't be like, because Rex catches on to things very quickly, and he's now, now, back then, no, but now he's okay with change, especially because you know he became friends with Ahsoka and Anakin and stuff. I was like, he may become a like not a bounty hunter, but might become a client and get people to do stuff for him, especially because he's in hiding. Oh, my heart, my baby. <gasps> What's wrong? Nothing. Yeah, it's just a headache. Which are becoming more frequent. Is that so? Uh. You're telling me you haven't removed your chips? No, not yet. Rex! I've seen what happens when the chip activates, and I don't want to bury any more of our brothers. Trust me, it is not something you can control. I couldn't. It's a risk you do not want to take. <laughs> oh god, this is so good. Oh, this is everything I wanted. Jesus, Rex. Oh, dude, my heart. Dude, that was everything. <laughs> because, like, again, showing and not telling. This is the thing. They've got it right with, like, Clone Wars and even this show. Like, showing, not telling is so good and even with just that he didn't even say like anything in terms of like what he's seen and what he's done as like a soldier of order 66 like he could have told them everything but he didn't and like the effects of it but immediately like you feel the tension when his body language changes and he hunches over and he becomes like captain rex but also just like afraid so beautifully done 
It's so good. Like, oh, it's so good. Anyway. Not mine. I don't have an inhibitor chip. Oh, she doesn't have one? That's strange. Come on, Rico. Please don't malfunction now of all times. <laughs> oh! He hit his head again. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's like one of the things in the Mandalorian. Kill him! Oh, dude, the stress. <laughs> that was sick. Oh, I love this. It's so cool because, like, every time we've ever been in the ships, they've been pristine, clean, looked after, and now it's all, like, old and just, like, it's rubble, basically. This is dangerous. It's more dangerous to leave their inhibitor chips in. We have to do this. It's worth the risk. And what if something goes wrong? Are we left here with no one? <laughs> God. Oh God. Get away from me. Something's not right. We need to speed this up. It's starting to get worse. No, 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 no. I don't want to freaking have this happen all over again. I'm getting tears in my eyes. Oh, oh my god, they really do know how to make horror like episodes. Oh, so good. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, no, please. Oh. oh god damn it every time god damn that one zoomed in way too far Rika, you need to get out of here. oh god please this could be a while why don't you take omega topside and uh, get some air no i'm staying until he wakes me up She's not like any other child. Oh, God. <gasps> hey, kid. Why the long face? He's awake! <sighs> God damn it. I hate this show. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like I have PTSD every time. Ugh. Great, my makeup's all ruined. Thanks, Char. Copy that. Made you the rendezvous by the next rotation. Who? Huh? Figured you weren't out of the fight just yet. I spent my life defending the Republic. Can't stop now. The Republic's gone, Rex. Uh, not all of it. We're here. Others are out there, too. Take care, Trooper. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh. Like Smokey disappears. Huh? Oh, no. Intruders confirm that the Jedi cruiser notified the Empire. Oh, shit! Fuck! Oh, dude, what the hell?
hell, man? If I ever meet Dave Filoni, I'll either hug him or I'll smack him. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Lord on high. Uh, every time, there's always something. Ugh. That was, like, too close to home, though. Especially because I'm running on lack of sleep. I'm more emotional. <laughs> I blame it on the lack of sleep I've had. Oh, God. But, um, a fantastic episode. Phenomenal. This, I feel like this episode comes onto the same level as we had with the Order 66 episode that we had from Clone Wars last year. This one, though, it was even better. Like, the, the stakes were high as well. But, like, that horror aspect, they've really nailed it down to so, like, such good detail. They've done it so well. And, excuse me, um, they... They know how to, like, write as well. Like, they're not filling every silence with, like, um, dialogue. There's, like, actual silences just meant to be there. Like, there were so many spots in this where they could have had, like, more comedy and stuff going just to, you know, keep it going. But instead, they kept those silences there. And you know what that reminds me of? The episode of Order 66. Because there was so much silence in that episode and oh, it, it it makes the tension even higher because you know the stakes are there there's nothing that needs to be said you just know it and you can feel it in that tension with the music and the accompaniment accompany, accompaniment excuse me of scenes and particular like characters and obviously like the situation and this one was exactly the same as order 66 episode so good and oh it's just again and this is the thing again um I mean, well, actually, let's just, let's start from the beginning, just with Rex. I, I, again, I had a small feeling that it might have been Rex, but I was like, nah, it might not be Rex, and a lot of people in the comments were either saying, like, Mandalorian, was it a Mandalorian, or was it, um, Ahsoka, was it this and that, but obviously we quickly minused out that it was a woman, because, um, of the fact that, like, Raph and, um, Trace said that it was a man that they worked for. So the fact that it was Rex, I was like, oh, because especially when we saw the eyes, I was like, that's a clone. And then who else is a clone? Obviously Rex, and that's like, dude, that would be the best if he was in this episode. And of course it was. And immediately when I saw the arm, I was like, that's Rex. That's his uniform. It's blue and white. Like, who else would it be? And just, yeah, that was perfect. And again, like, I love. Like, because I knew we wouldn't have multiple episodes with Rex. But that's why I love, like, ugh, it makes me so sad. Especially that, that, no, uh, oh, dude, the cinematography in this episode especially was so good. But that last shot of Rex standing in that, like, billowing smoke of fog and stuff. He just stands there and he disappears. And it's just like he moves, I don't know, there's a saying about moves like fog or moves like shadow or mist or something. There's a really good quote from someone that I, I know of, but it reminded me instantly of that. Like, you, you only get glimpses of them, and that's why I love that, like, we got this beautiful, compacted episode with him that was emotional and just so well done. Like, the writing in this was really well done. Show and don't tell, that was definitely there. That's something I always talk, pick up on, and that was definitely in this episode, and just really really good stuff and i can't wait to see what else this show has in store for us because we're only at episode seven and if this is episode seven imagine the other episodes that are coming we obviously have yeah episode 16 so we have a while until the the last few episodes and we haven't even reached episode 10 and i'm already sobbing my eyes out imagine when we meet crosshair again oh that's gonna be emotional and the fact that there is a season two makes me hope that we will get more rex content and hopefully maybe ahsoka maybe not but more rex than ahsoka um and just uh it this this episode I, I said last episode was my favorite, but this has to be my favorite episode. So, so good. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of The Bad Batch, Episode 7, Battle Scars. Now, I also wanted to touch upon Omega. So, especially with that scene where Rex was like, you know, maybe you should take her away from the scene, you know, get her some air, blah, blah, blah. Omega isn't like any other kid. And she is very mature, obviously for her age and stuff. Maybe that's with the cloning and stuff, maybe. But she's seen a lot 
in her short time with the Bad Batch. And she's had to grow up quick. And she's had to mature. She's had to make really big decisions as well. And she has to fight for herself and protect herself. So that moment where she was like, no, I'm staying here. It's not only, like, showing how much she cares for these guys, especially Rekka. Like, she has an affinity with Rekka. It's obvious, like, big brother <clears throat> sort of vibe. The fatherly vibe is more like... Echo and Hunter shared, <laughs> um, but with Rekka, it's like um, it's like that Big Brother vibe, like going and hanging out with them, like having fun with them and stuff like that. That reminded me of like um, just like different relationships I have with guys in my life that I I see as Big Brothers. Like that's us, like mucking around and stuff. Like that was so beautifully done, and even just. Again, like, PTSD. The <laughs> Wrecker turning into, like, Order 66. Immediately when his eyes sort of, like, changed, like, pupils, like, went smaller, I was like, well, how dare you? And then he, like, obviously hurt the rest of the Bad Batch. That really made me sad. Oh, my heart. That's why every time Order 66 comes up, I'm like, <clears throat> like, oh, God. Like, I get so scared. Oh, I wonder if they're ever going to be able to rescue Crosshair. That's the thing. I'm not sure if they will be able to. Like, imagine- Like, I was worried that they would have to kill Rekka or Rekka would die because of the operation. I actually was really scared. Thankfully, he didn't. And, oh, dude, that, that moment where he, like, pets Omega's hair. Dude, that broke my heart. Um, also, um, it was so nice to have Echo and- um, Rex back because like they're so they're best friends and they always have been and we saw that last season of the Clone Wars as well that friendship sort of bloom and obviously Echo did have to make the decision to go with the Bad Batch because he felt like he didn't belong um, but to see them sort of back together talking all the time and stuff was really and I love that we did get to see a little bit of time with them together that was really sweet and just yeah I'm excited for what's in store for Rex because obviously we've seen in Rebels, we've seen how much the war has affected him and the rest of the troopers that he saves. Wolf and some other people, I can't remember off the top of my head. But, um, yeah. And it's it's scary, though, because then that makes me worried for the Bad Batch. Like, are they going to make it to the end? Are they going to survive? Or will they be plucked off? And that's why with that last part of the episode saying, you know, like, t uh, notify the Empire... <sighs> it makes me so scared. Like, every moment is, like, precious to them because it's like they're on the run. <sighs> it makes me very, very scared about the future of the season and even next season. Whether it's only going to be two seasons or three seasons, I don't care. But when the end comes, it's going to... I know it's either going to be really bittersweet or it's going to be, like, not a very, very happy ending, but it's going to be, like, gratifying or... They'd go out with a bang, which is the Bad Batch, obviously, as they- <laughs> that's their style. But yeah, I'm very nervous for whenever that happens, and yeah, now I'm scared, I'm starting to think of the future, and now I'm just gonna- Ugh! No! <laughs> but I am very excited for the next episode, so I'm gonna finish this because I've been talking for too long, but yeah. Oh my god. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Crazy Fangirl, out! Woo!